Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and we're back again with some brand new private stock. Everything you're about to see will be available on the website tomorrow, Friday, November 11th at 12 p.m. noon central time. Now let's start off first here with a really special item that's been requested very frequently. This is our Bugs Moran style. It's a very minimalist card holder with no bill slot on the outside. And the request that people have been making is for vertical card slots on the interior. So the vertical Bugs Moran has two card slots on the left, two on the right, and then there's also hidden card slots underneath each of those stacks. We've made a few of these this time, so you should be able to get one if you're interested. And I have another vertical card slot Bugs Moran and maybe one of the nicest pieces of shell cordovan that I've ever seen. This is cigar shell cordovan on the outside. We've got the vertical card slots with reverse cigar on the interior. This wallet has waxed and burnished edges. And I have a ton of Johnny the Foxes, so we'll get to those in a second. I wanted to show you the shell cordovan baseballs next. This first one here is in the skip finish. And this is a really remarkable piece of leather. I'm sad to say I do not have any more of this Skip Finish Shell Cordovan. I was on the phone with him yesterday with Skip Horween asking him to make some more of this because we've been getting a lot of requests for this look. And it's really spectacular in a spherical object like the baseball here. I have a couple more Shell Cordovan baseballs. This one has marbled blue Shell Cordovan with a reverse piece of Shell Cordovan that prominently features the Horween Shell Cordovan ink stamp. Here's a fun one, an inverted ultraviolet Shell Cordovan. The inverted Shell Cordovan is a little bit confusing. We actually have three more inverted shells in different colors. This leather is finished upside down. They're actually finishing it on the reverse side of the shell. So we get all these random drip marks on the shiny, glossy shell side of the leather. Here's another inverted shell cordovan piece. This is inverted blue shell cordovan. And the color on the inverted blue shell cordovan tends to range from a little bit more of like a denim blue, a little bit darker, more of a vivid blue down to a little bit of a green. In some areas, it gets a little bit of this orangey tan. And the last shell cordovan baseball, it's so fun for me to see all these shell cordovan baseballs. This is inverted black shell cordovan, which has more of a color range from that true black, little bits of green in there, down to more of this golden, a little bit of an orangey tan shade also. And what we're about to look at here, some of my favorite giant of foxes that we've ever done. I wanted to start off with this one here first. This is maybe the most interesting Johnny the Fox that I've ever seen. We've got that same inverted blue shell cordovan on the exterior of this traditional bifold. You can see the same color range that we saw in the baseball and it's a little bit more dramatic on this specific piece where we have the range of drip marks from that darker blue shade down to a little bit of green and orangey tan. We also have that contrasting teal stitching on the outside which is hinting at the teal horsehide latigo on the interior. We also have hand-stained blue edges for this Johnny the Fox. Another Johnny the Fox here in a uh, one of our customer favorite leathers. This is Brown Nut Dublin with exceptional grain character and figuring. Take a look at the texture on the outside of this wallet. And that's very much a natural texture. It's not something the tanneries able to control. So each piece of Dublin is a little bit different. This one is a little bit more on the figured side, a little bit more intense than most. And this one also has a cream color stitching, a nice contrast on the outside. On the inside, we also have brown nut Dublin. This is on horse hides on the interior. Up next is 100% green shell cordovan. This is a pretty dark green shade. So some angles it might appear black, but it definitely has very much a forest green shade to it. Here's the special part on the interior. These pieces of shell need to be naturally thin and they're tough for us to get, especially on a rare piece of shell cordovan, like the green shell cordovan. This one also has hand stained green edges with green stitching. And here's a good contrast to that last wall. Also 100% green shell cordovan. This giant of the Fox has a contrasting cream stitch all through the outside, as well as on the inside where we have more of that green shell cordovan. And take a look at that bright, shiny luster of this shell cordovan. I have a couple marbled pieces in the batch today. This is a color that I haven't seen in a while. This is marbled color number eight shell cordovan. And this almost has some of that epic texture that we sometimes see in the natural. We see it a lot, but just take a look at how incredible that depth of color is on this piece of marbled shell. It also has that sort of visual texture look, but everything is very, very flat very smooth and even. There's something that happens when they scrape away the uh, stain layers that gives us really great look. And I sort of like these linear, more horizontal striations in the leather. Here's a look at the inside of this wallet where we have reverse color eight shell cordovan. And here's another marbled color eight shell cordovan piece. This is incredible looking. I love that dramatic contrast 
right from this darker, more of that straight up color number eight shade, down to a little bit more of these orangey tans, and then all the colors in between from the marbling process, I think are absolutely incredible. Here's a look at the inside. We also have reverse color eight shell cordovan for the interior of this guy. And before we get to some more of the blue giant of the foxes that you see there, I have a couple smaller items to show you. We have our keychain belt clip, and this is a special makeup in the black chrome XL leather, but this time, instead of using our normal antique brass hardware, we put some silver hardware on this guy. This is a product that I use every day and I really enjoy it. I actually clip this end to my belt loop and then I hang all my keys off this side. And I also have a pretty fun one-shot card case, and this is reverse green shell cordovan. So we get to see a little bit of the green die marks on the reverse side of this green shell. If you were to look on the inside here, that's actually the green shell cordovan inside of this one shot. And back to the giant of the foxes, check out this guy, inverted blue shell cordovan, and it's a very subtle inverted blue. And there's not a huge amount of contrast on this particular piece, but it is there. If you look very closely, you can see some of these faint greenish aqua blue shades, not a little bit more of those darker blue, more navy tones. This one also has hand stained blue edges. And on the interior, we have cobalt blue Dublin horsehide. And we have a couple more here with some teal contrasting interiors. This one here is marbled blue shell cordovan. It's a really nice piece, especially on the edges. It's almost like the center is a little bit darker of a color where the edges show a little bit more of that marbling contrast down to the more of the orangey tan, a little bit of green in it. We also have that contrasting teal stitch. And of course, incredible piece of shell here. Very much bright and shiny luster. Here's a look at the interior. We have teal horsehide latigo. A couple more with teal horsehide. This is also marbled blue shell cordovan. You'll notice that we have a couple of these and each wallet is going to have their own individual product page. So every image that you see on the product pages will be exactly the wallet that you get. And I like spinning this one around here because the color has a really dynamic range to it. Definitely more of an aqua blue shade with the marbling on the blue shell cordovan. And here's a look at the inside where we also have the teal horsehide latigo. Now, instead of marbling the blue for this giant of the fox, we have inverted blue, which again is a little bit more of a subtle look. If you look on the inside of this one, you can see they finished the blue color onto the reverse side of the leather, leaving all the drip marks from their process on the shell side, the shiny and smooth side of the shell cordovan. I wanna spin this one around to also show you that range of color, which is very beautiful. The range of color in the inverted shells and even the marble shells are pretty tough to see sometimes on photos and videos, but in person it's very, very striking. And here's a look at the interior of this one. We have teal horsehide latigo. Now we're gonna move into some extra, extra special stuff. I don't think I've ever seen this before. We have five giant the foxes coming up here. All of them are 100% marbled blue shell cordovan. I wanna spin this around again, just to show you that dynamic range of color. Very interesting shade here. It's almost like a teal blue with some greens, a little bit more of like an aqua blue. This one also has hand stained blue edges. And here's a look at the inside of this giant of the fox, which is absolutely remarkable for me to see because it's so challenging for us to find thin pieces of leather. We've been saving these up for over a year just to get these giant of the foxes. All right, four more to look at. Let's spin through these. This one is much more dramatic on the outside, a little bit more of a color contrast. You get to see a little bit more of these orangey tan looks next to the greenish blue, sort of aqua blue color. We also have the hand stained blue edges on this guy with marbled blue shell cordovan on the interior. And I'll give you a better look at this guy because that's an awesome look. Here's another one, also 100% marbled blue shell cordovan. We do have a little bit of these orangey tan looks on the bottom center of this wallet. And here's a look at the inside. Also marbled blue shell cordovan. You get to see a bit of the color range in the marbled blue here. Another marbled blue. It's getting a little bit lighter here, a little bit more orange in this piece. And we do have this streak of blue going through the top left. And we have some more streaks of that blue on the right, but this is one is predominantly an orangey tan with little bits of green in it. Here's a look at the inside, more of the marbled blue shell cordovan, a little bit of orange right here on the second card holder. And the last one of the 100% marbled blue shell cordovan. This one is straight up aqua blue, a little bits of green, lighter colors on the bottom of the exterior of the wallet. Again, hand stained blue edges which I think are a really great look. We also have more marble blue on the interior. I love this front card holder. For me personally, I like a big contrast in the color on the marble shells as well as on the inverted. It seems like a lot of people really like the more subtle look 
like on some of the other wallets we saw. We'll keep it going here. We got some more special Giant of the Foxes. This is a piece of leather that hasn't been produced very often. This is Tumble Cho Cordovan in the color number eight color. So unlike the inverted and unlike the marble Cho Cordovan, where we get to see that visual texture, this one actually has a feel texture. So if I tilt it around in the light here, you might be able to see just some of that textured look and that's from the tumbling that was done to this piece of shell in a steam heated drum. I think it gives it a really great look and it also opens up the fibers of the shell that I've noticed allow the leather to develop just a more incredible patina. It gives it a little bit faster of a patina. Here's a look at the inside of this one. We have reverse color eight shell cordovan with a great Horween ink stamp cut into the center. And here's another really interesting idea that uh, the tannery has come up with. This is also marbled color number eight shell cordovan, but it looks to me like they marbled it after imprinting a texture onto it. So you get this very differentiated look of texture on this piece of shell cordovan, but you don't really feel that texture. Like I was saying on the tumble shell, it's more of like a visual look, which is very unique. I don't think you can get this look on any other leather than shell cordovan. Here's another one in that textured marbled color number eight shell cordovan. I really like this look and especially the shells, the luster, the smoothness of the shells are very nice on these two pieces. Here's a look at the interior. And I really like this right here with the bottom right with that dye splatter which is something we can't control. And it gives it a really great look from the bottom right to the top left. We have that sort of opposing angles from uh, that dye splatter. And here's another one that I don't really know what to call. This was an experimental finish that Skip Horwin was doing. So I'm calling this one the experimental finish shell cordovan. It's got a really interesting look. I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's sort of like streaky, like water on glass or something. But the color ranges from more of a cigar shade to a little bit more of an orangey tan. And of course, really bright, shiny luster on this shell cordovan. Some really nice pieces of shell here. Here's a look at the inside. We have reverse color number eight shell cordovan. And I have another one in the experimental finish shell cordovan. Same sort of streaky look. I don't really know how to describe it, but that same color a little bit more of a brown cigar color to more of an orangey tan, sort of like a whiskey almost, which is a pretty nice look. Here's a look at the inside of this guy, another one with reverse color eight, and I really like this little dye drip line on the right side. And we have two more John of the Foxes to round off the private stock event today. Should mention again that all these items will be available on the private stock section of our website, ashlandleather.com tomorrow, November 11th at 12 p.m. noon central time. They tend to go pretty quickly, so I like to do these videos in advance just to give you guys a heads up of what everything looks like. So next one here, marbled green shell cordovan, and of course I got the buzzsaw starting outside of my workshop as I finish off the video, but I don't have much time to reshoot this. So we're gonna go with marbled green shell cordovan with an incredible contrast on the outside bottom right. Lighter orangey tan shade that I love the contrast of to the green and a little bit more of the darker forest green sections. I really like seeing those right next to each other. Very much a dramatic contrast. And of course, every shell in the batch here is incredibly nice. Take a look at that bright, shiny luster. Here's a look at the inside. We have reverse black shell cordovan, which is more of a greenish shade that I think complements the marbled green on the outside much better. And last but not least, another one with marbled green shell cordovan. Incredible contrast on this guy. Darker on the right, a little bit lighter, more orangey on the bottom left. Green stitching on the outside. This one has a natural waxed and burnished edge. And on the inside, reverse black shell cordovan again that I think pairs very well with the marbled black on the outside. Man, so many good Johnny the Foxes today. Of course, we had those vertical card slot Bugs Moran from earlier. We had this tumbled color eight shell cordovan. Some really special pieces. I'd be really curious to see which one was your stunner of the day. For me, I can't even pick. They're so special, I, especially the ones with the teal. I think those turned out very nicely. So thanks for checking it out today. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to let me know. And there's the buzzsaw again. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good weekend and take care.